Okay, this is um, a little bit of a theory lesson showing you how your triads and harmonies are supported or intertwined with your melody. So at this point, we're going to play the C chord all the way to there, and then we change to the F chord. And C chords are spelled C, E, G. Well, I want you to notice something here. There's a C, there's an E, and there's a G. Now, there are notes that are not part of the chord, like that A right there. But when we started, when we came to an important sort of structural landing place, uh, when we're skipping, almost always, not 100%, but almost always, those are going to be chord tones or notes in the chord, this triad right there. If not, then we get um, what was called a dissonance or an instability that needs to be resolved. That's the case here. Here's my E, and there's my C notes right there, right? So it's more of it, and we start on a non-chord tone, and it goes, ba -da, ba -da, unstable resolve, unstable resolve. But you can see that the skeleton of this whole section is all about the C chord with other notes filling in. Here I've got an F chord. F chords are spelled F A C, and the one note that I have in here is the C right there. When I start this G chord here, which is G B D, notice that I'm on the B. This is a note that connects us on the way down the scale, and then when we arrive on this end of the line, very important um, stable part there. Again, the chord is C E G and. That's there. Anywhere that you arrive, um, rhythmically in a sort of important place, a landing place, a stress place, um, almost always will be a chord tone. If not, it sounds funny, like you've got a note mistake. Now you can fill in gaps of chord tones or even have non-chord tones to create tension and release anywhere as long as it sounds good. But, um, but it's kind of like making a house or a building. You can put interior design and curved walls or or interesting whatever architecture after you frame the basic floor and walls and make sure everything is square and solid and true. And uh, since this is here, we know it's the same and that's there, it's the same, it's the same. Let's just take a look right here on the G chord, which is G, B, D. And look, there's a D and a D and a D, and this is my lone note that is giving interest. You'll be my queen. Pulls against the chord, right? Um, here, right? F chord, F, A, C. That is an A. Now here's an interesting thing, right at the very end, to build more tension, when we get to the G chord, which is G, B, D, we stay on the, sorry, D, we stay on an A, which is not part of the chord, builds the highest amount of tension, and then releases to a B. Depending on if you're playing it, you'll go up, or if you're singing it, you'll go down. And then it goes to the C, which is part of the C, E, G chord. So, as we look through almost all the music that we do, you'll find this to be true, that the chords at any given place support the melody, and the melody are part of the chords, and then you, you garnish ornament and create interesting sounds by adding occasional non-chord tones.